Hi everyone, in today's video I will power on that two transformers. Uh, you probably know that two transformers and ignore all that cables. I will uh, sort them in uh, this video. And uh, yeah, you probably know that two transformers from my uh, past videos. That's a microwave transformer and I don't know from where is this transformer. But I already used that and I will explain in uh, some time what I will uh, be doing here with these two transformers and uh, some audio amplifiers. Okay, for first I uh, wired up this small transformer. Normal, normally that's it uh, from uh, primary and I will uh, probably say uh, some wrong words for my English is not perfect so please sorry that, okay? Um, and here I have a lot from this transformer, a lot of exits and I don't know what is this thing but uh, last time I used this uh, I uh, gave to it around uh, 1 kilohertz and this thing uh, smokes, it smoked around and I don't know what this is doing here and what? is that sound wait a minute okay um i'm not sure if you will uh, can hear this transformer but now it's wired to my amp but it's not powered on here i have some christmas lights with uh, normal light bulbs it's not a led one it's a normal one and i will plug it to my um, socket and in my country we use 50 Hertz but now for uh, this transformer I will use uh, 60 Hertz for uh, I get a little uh, big voltage I don't know why but I will show you if I raise the frequency I get a higher um, voltage okay now we, I will plug this in and like this it will glow like this but one thing i want to do now is to plug in my amplifier okay i'm not sure if you will can uh, hear the buzzing But yeah, now here I got some voltage and let me make a screwdriver to show you. Um, I get voltage but a little, little amps, I don't know, I, I think I just don't get much amps, like I prob probably won't get any amps from this but here i have my multimeter and uh, i want to show you okay on ac please focus and i want to show you my voltage here i get around 300 volts from this and for me to do things uh, easier, I will plug into this small socket here. And another thing I want to do is to take a wire like this to make things e easier for me to measure the voltage I get from this transformer. And I simply put this here okay now i get this and i hope i will uh, want to electrocute myself okay and now i will plug the lights and the voltage decrease but 
you probably won't see it on video, but it's a little blurring here. But probably this is just my amp. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is um, okay, as you can see here, as you probably can see, I will leave this here to record. That's light fluctuations, but in at voltage, I don't see a big voltage dipping, like maximum one of two volts dipping when the the light go, go like this. But this transformer, as uh, I powered it on from the secondary wire and the power I get to power this on is from uh, normally uh, primary uh the impedance is 1.7 ohms and my amp is uh, designed for 4 ohms uh, i have a much powerful amp like this one from here but this i will uh, use for the for the uh, microwave transformer for that transformer have uh, almost 4 ohms impedance so i think uh, it's better to use on that uh, okay now I will set the minimum volume on my amp for uh, I changed it first okay that's it uh, with minimum amp volume and that's all I can get but I will slowly increase the volume until my amps enter to protect mode like this to show you okay now the sine wave start deforming for my uh, transformer start buzzing harder and i i'm not sure why but on sine wave uh, it enter to protection mode more quick than uh, on square wave probably my amp is a little bit uh, destroyed or old i'm not sure but let me show you now i'm giving to this amp sine wave and uh, after it will go to protection mode i will give square wave if it will okay it enters at around 50 percent volume on sine wave and now I will turn the amp off and I will give to it square uh, wave. Okay, now I will plug the amp. Okay, now it's at 50 volume from where uh, did it uh, enter to protection mode on uh, sine wave. Now on square wave I can get higher. Now it's at maximum level and it won't go in protection mode. I don't know why. If I short this will probably enter to protection mode for... Yeah, as I said, for I get the high power usage from this. And now let me show you how the, how the frequency affects my uh, voltage from here. Um, I can't take my phone with me for I want to show you uh, here and uh, you probably will uh, hear me a little different. Now I'm on square wave but I will go to sine wave like this uh, but I don't know why my multimeter stopped working oh here like this. Now I'm at 60 Hz, I'll go to down to 50 Hz and that's I get, that's what I get. As you can see my lights here starts um, making this, I don't know how this is uh, named but it actually looks terrible on camera. 
if I will uh, get a higher ISO on camera at 60 frames, that will be terrible. But now, let me go um, down frequency. Okay, I will now switch to a square wave. As you can see, at this frequency, there is a little difference from uh, sine wave to square wave. But now I'm on square wave and I will show you what are the results. Now I'm at 50 hertz. Now I'm at 60 hertz. And now I'm going back to sine wave. Okay, now I will raise the uh, frequency. Now I have around 100 hertz. Let me prove you to you this. As you can see here. But I don't, I don't know why my, my multimeter takes a lot of power to measure the frequency, as you can see. Now I will turn off this and you will see the actual voltage. Okay, for that uh, lights cause some, a lot of power for this thing. I uh, will uh, sometimes unplug it. Let me double the frequency. Okay, now I have 200 Hertz and the lights are just smoother. As you can see here, the lights stop shaking my image and glow a little smoother and if i will unplug lights we go out oh almost 400 volts i'm not sure if there is a big difference now it's plugged to um, outlet and now i will plug to the transformer okay it glows a little high I think, but let me increase the frequency. 400. Okay, now I use 400 uh, Hertz here. As you can see, this starts shaking. But if I will unplug, I get, oh, -oh. You probably hear the arcs for at this high frequency I get some arcs. For I get a higher voltage and actually I get arcs. Okay, I hope I will want blow this again for I want to go up to 800 Hertz. Okay, now I got a lot of voltage and bigger arcs here if I will touch that wires that probably electroc electrocute myself within seconds now so I hope that will not happen okay let me go as up I can Okay, now my amp is to the maximum level and I get a ton of power now. Let me change to the square wave and not much happens.
Okay, I will go to just 400 hertz. I'm just curious if I will leave these lights like this if it will break, but that I think will uh, need a longer time to do this, so I uh, simply can't wait this for this to happen. So I will uh, move to the next transformer, but for first I want to set the frequency to the 60 hertz and I uh, I think I will uh, do the same things with uh, but without um, getting the frequency down okay the transformer uh, heat up a little bit a little bit okay now I will take the microwave transformer here as you can see um, that blue wire normally needs to be wired at neutral at ground but I will you don't use this now so yeah I think it's a little uh, bit good for me for if it is isolated from the ground uh, chances to electrocute myself are minimal so yeah I think this is just better for me um, now I will wire this up to my amplifier here but for first I want to reduce the volume to minimum level okay plug this in like this and I think I need another cord for this for uh, this transformer just don't have um, that's a plug for this socket here and I will uh, use another power cord for, for it. I hope I will uh, don't destroy this power cord. Okay, now it is plugged and let me see what I can get, but for first I want to put the transformer a little bit away from me for uh, my protection. Okay, I will plug the amplifier. Okay, we got a lot weak power, as you can see. Okay, I will take my screwdriver and short. Okay, I almost go. I almost go to no spark. If actually, if I turn the volume on amp to maximum, it's the same thing. Almost nothing. So I will go uh, to a lower frequency like 50 hertz on this transformer as you can see on 50 hertz uh, the light is smoother but let me see if i will get a higher spark no that's just nothing the camera will probably uh, won't recognize the sparks and uh, yeah okay a quick test i will go just directly to a higher frequency Okay, I'm now at 200 Hz and this is the result. That's probably normal for this transformer. So I will uh, go directly on my uh, bigger amp to show what will happen from uh, that point. So I will go back to 60 Hz. And now I will need to plug it to my amp, but I need a, another wire for this. Two wires from here are a little too short for me, but I will be right back. Okay, now I will play the sine wave 
But for first, I want to reduce the volume from uh, this amp to get a safety thing. Okay, now it goes. And here we go. And I will raise the volume slowly. Okay. The lights start glowing and... Oh, that's really better. That is just better. I get 500 volts and much powerful. Oh! Okay, the sparks now are powerful. As you can see. Okay, I'm curious what happens if I will go to full volume uh, from amp where I have gain amp set it to a little low volume. Okay, and I get this. I'm sure if I will unplug that that's lights, I will got I will got um Okay, now I turned this a little bit off where I want to measure how much amps my um, amplifier takes from the power supply and why this stopped working hmm oh the wire disconnected from here okay and what is the problem oh I think I I just destroyed this let me see yes I I just blowed these lights Okay, that is impressive. Oh, and I get 15 amps, and now I go to maximum volume. Okay, at this point, I I simply can't uh, can't use this anymore, so I will. Uh, unplug this oh my god this is actually oh my gosh I think this light from here blow away blown up but let me see what will happen if I will plug this directly to AC okay nothing but oh no more more bulbs melted the plastic covers this and yeah this is just garbage now garbage and now to don't destroy that things for i already seen the power I can get from this transformer I will simply want to get some arcs from it and I will use this here okay as you can see and now I will take this and uh, simply use this for um, cables and pray I will want to electrocute myself okay I forgot to play the sine wave 
at this point between that two I I think I get uh, more than uh, more than six hundred volts. I go back to fifty hertz. Okay, but my amp is not fully stressed, so I will just go up to a higher frequency. But as you can see, as I go up, it just decreases. So yeah, this transformer is just designed for um, lower frequencies and can't high handle uh, higher ones Okay, I will go to 30 Hertz It goes so slow To we'll see what will happen Okay, now it goes bad This is at 50 Hertz and this is at 60 Hertz. At this point, I only will just change the sine wave from sine, normal sine wave to square wave. As you can see here, I'm getting arcs. And uh, please don't try this at home. That's, that is really, really harmful for you. If you do this, you can electrocute yourself. Okay, I turned this off for now. I want to see a thing and especially what happens if I will plug this transformer with this microwave transformer powered by my audio amplifier. Okay, I don't need all that cables for this, so I will use just this for this uh, smaller one and the losses uh, from this cable are probably less um, I hope I will uh, don't actually blow this transformer for I will uh, go directly but no 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 I will uh, just increase the voltage slowly to don't blow this transformer and I will try to put these cables without any other things. Just these two cables to measure the the voltage, the actual voltage for, for this. For is easy for me. But now one thing I um, I know. Okay, the trans the transformer is uh, getting hot okay one thing i know uh, and i noticed just now is uh, my amp uh, uses now uh, 180 degrees wave so uh, it's a reversed phase from what i'm giving to it but now i will plug this on Okay, and let me see what we can get from this transformer. Okay, now it's... Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad I thought it uh, will be. And now I want to measure the, the amps I'm getting from this. 
Okay, I will just go to up to full volume for this to be more easy. Okay, that's not bad. I get around 3 amps at 32 volts. I think this is good. Hmm, what will happen if I simply do this? Here I have my. Whoa! Okay, and now let me use square square sine wave. Not a big difference. Okay, back to sine wave and. I want now to uh, use my subwoofer directly on the microwave transformer just for fun to see what will happen. But I need to decrease the volume again to be at a safe level. And I will uh, continue from uh, getting a higher level based on this how it goes um, as I said my English is very bad okay I will go around 20% volume okay and now okay this is good Oh my god. Mm, I don't know why, but now the sound is more clear. Okay, if I will go now on square wave, you probably notice a difference. Yes, there is a difference, a small difference. I will try to wear this and just take this and now I will change the sine waves. Okay, the maximum power I get is on 55 Hertz and probably that's the best power I can get from this transformer I hope you liked the video this video okay chill out my screen just turned off and turned on again okay instead of that Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.